intensive meditation most of the venerables practitioners they effortfully practice the it is very important practice effortfully so we saw venerables most of them already have some experience some calmness comfortableness and some brightness some concentration some have the mindfulness those experience further we should determine to maintain this practice next two days also determine this practice and complete our practice so the buddha's teaching or the teach for base of the mindfulness all the practice inside the for base of the mindfulness we know the kaya anupassana focus in the body object breath also and uh, bodily parts elements bodily postures kriya pat sampajan those all for kaya anupassana if anyone practice buddha anusati dhamma anusati sangha anusati and also anyone practice that dying or that dead contemplation marana sati those practice those practice also bit closer to the kaya anupassana so that mindfulness develop with the objects so mindfulness mental factor mind got mental factors 52 so that among this 52 mindful mental factor is the things we have to develop we call mindfulness sati sati metta factor works with the wholesome object only if anyone have the wholesome object sati mental factor there unwholesome object don't have it if you are thinking buddha anusati also mindful factor there breath also mindful factor there you can see you start with the less mindfulness when you are practicing practicing you can see continuous mindfulness means mindful factors coming up so this way we have to maintain object for some object continuously we call development of the mindfulness any of those some continuously train can do it so that's why in this kind of retreat all of us can experience some mindfulness because we are trained continuously meditation object so mindfulness is gradually growing up such a mindfulness we have to train in four field we call four base of mindfulness mindfulness only one factor but this factor work with the different subject with different connection general practice with the body or general practice we call just develop mindfulness call kaya anupassana generally basically conventional but can train it to the vipassana also then second one is feeling to get the mindfulness various type feeling we have focus this mindfulness also develop the mindfulness with the feeling third one consciousness chitta anupassana develop the mindfulness with the consciousness fourth one inside ingredients that in the one mind there are 52 mental factors body got many material 28 type materials ingredients contemplations we call dhamma anupassana these four ways we have to train kaya anupassana develop mindfulness later concentration calm vedana anupassana chitta anupassana dhamma anupassana develop mindfulness and together with the wisdom then later concentration calm so all these developments is necessary for calm life 
If anyone train continuously, mindfulness become better, then concentration stabilize, then wisdom also better. This called path to liberation. If anyone stabilize mindfulness, stabilize now concentration, stabilize wisdom. Now have to grow, have to develop. So that this growing, develop, develop, finally you go up to the liberation. This is a clear path for the liberation. To go to the clear path, go to the clear attainment, we need stability, stability of the mindfulness, stability of the concentration, stability of the wisdom. It is very important to go to the clear liberation path. So that concentration also one of the very important thing for liberation. So we will explain later. So the Buddha teach us the concentration. And encourage concentration is necessary so you can understand now morning you have the some calmness comfortableness the understanding is better but uh, evening if you not maintain your concentration evening all the hammer disappear evening hindrance come and destroy your mind hindrances so that again tomorrow you'll work very hard and little bit dhamma come up Again, hindrances come, again disappear. So, dhamma never develop. This way, dhamma never develop. Like the, you have the one bowl or bucket or pail or anything, container. If this container got hole in depth, in hole, whatever you put cannot keep there. Put water or valuable thing or is going out. You cannot keep it. Same way. If no samadhi they are, whatever you develop cannot keep it. You are developing, developing all the things because of down their holes go out. You cannot keep it. But uh, if anyone have the concentration, not like that. If no concentration, morning better, evening all destroy. Tomorrow better morning, later all destroy. Dhamma development very weak. But uh, if anyone maintain concentration, morning dhamma very easily develop because of the concentration. Evening also very easily develop the dhamma because of the concentration. Tomorrow also very easy develop dhamma because of the concentration. So next day also very easy dhamma development, concentration remain. So because of concentration, continuously you can develop dhamma. So then dhamma development, gradually your wisdom come up, so then you easily attain months. To attain path progression, it is very important, the concentration maintenance. So the concentration we cannot build up without mindfulness. If mindfulness built up, only concentration come up. Mindfulness we cannot build up without the wholesome object, meditation object. The wholesome, you are focusing breath, you are focusing body, all those objects become wholesome object. Those objects you have to keep in order, continuously you have to train in order. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, all oh, steps, any of the object continuously you maintain. This is called wholesome maintenance. So the mindful factor they are inside this wholesome object then gradually your mindful energy become better and better. You are now mindful one. If the mindful is stronger, then concentration is stabilized. If mindfulness weak, uh, concentration cannot be stabilized. Mindfulness is very important to bring up to the concentration level. So now these two is stable very easily wisdom developments. If these three together develop very easily attainment path progression. So dhamma had to develop in order. First step is wholesome development, then the mindfulness of Java Sati is development, then concentration development, then the wisdom development. In order we have to train the Dhamma so that if anyone apply wholesome object again and again continuously, all Dhamma developments very easy. So we determine next few days continuously train our practice until deep Dhamma understanding comes. In the Buddha time, many venerables, they had been practicing. 
one of the young man he from the kosambi he listened buddha's dhamma late or day he practiced very well but no attainments one of the devotee is uh, got uh, faith for this venerable and invited venerable in her place so some of the devotees they prepare separate place for venerable for vasan or practice time time invited for this venerable also accepted venerable is stay vasana in this place and practicing venerable name is this so after the vasana the mother she offer many items that you know the ghee and uh, that uh, sweets different types so you call honey and also yogurts this kind of thing different type sugars she offer because in uh, buddha time earlier period those are more valuable nowadays we have the factories in olden days don't have people had to do that all hand handmade one machinery is very lesser so they she offer many vendor ask for what this thing to keep the for vendor vendor says i cannot keep this thing i don't have some near i am living alone the mother said i have one boy 7 years old please take this uh, boy and ordain then he will help the vendor was mother devoted to the vendor so then accepted boy was accepted so then uh, now preparing for ordination boy also have a very strong parami sansara very good parami so that ordination time had to shave the head shave in time given the meditation object head hair body hair nail skin teeth kesa loma naka danta tacho given this object the boy had been contemplating when he was contemplating his parami past parmis came up natural concentration come after concentration wisdom gradually grow up while shaving he could attain arha became arha so that age is 7 before ordination also already arha later became samanera as the arha even nowadays also some they got this ability but not many very fast they get the concentration within one or two days few days they get the concentration even nowadays also they are but lesser percentage is lesser you know avari dham mahatera h7 h8 years old also got concentration while reading loving kindness naturally concentration so this kind of life they are in the world you know the our buddha before ordination bodhisattva five month only five month for us we cannot sit even crawling only but this uh, five month boy sit cross leg and uh, enter the pajjhan father also come and pay respect so this kind of ability come for special people not everyone so this samana also got this ability at an arahang in h 7 so later venerable doing the duty to the teachers so that venerable have to do duties nowadays less duties for us in olden days many duties you know the had to bring the water had to bring the brushes and had to do many duties nowadays we have the water tap these things so this samaner now doing this duties to teach so sometimes later both of them they left for going to the jetavana monastery to pay respect to buddha half way they stay one monastery so teacher got a place for stay but samana didn't have a place evening samana to come for duty ask do you have a place samana to keep silent and do to no place then ask samana to you stay together with me samana also know there's a rule together with the bhikkhu can he stay two or three nights only so that had to go out in dawn time had to wake up dawn time so that uh, samana also no two nights they sleep third one samana think 
I should not sleep because of the teachers. Teacher get offends. Apatti. It is better not sleep. He keep cross leg and meditating. Before dawn, teacher want to wake up the summoner. He had the fan. Dhamma talk time. We are using this kind of fan. Use this fan. Hit the disciple because teacher want to wake him up. Actually, he is nearby. Teacher don't know. Now sitting. When he take this fan and want to wake him up using the fan, he was there nearby. Hit his eye. Eye damage. He start bleeding. So then, uh, but someone here or the other hand didn't say that. Oh, when the bird, I am painful. I am bleeding. Never say. Just cover it by one hand. And teacher asked him to go out. Also go out. Later bring some water and a toothbrush, it's natural one. This thing to the teacher. And offer by one hand. Teacher says in this way, you offer to the teacher by one hand. Normally you have to do use the two hand. No? Then uh, the summoner says, Venerable Sir, yes I know it. But I have another work in another hand. Other hand got another work. Teacher asks, what work? For oh, that uh, I, it is bleeding. So that teacher got frightened and asked, why it is bleeding? For oh, that uh, morning, teacher want to wake me up. That time teacher's fan hit my eye. I bleeding, now cannot see. Teacher got frightened and uh, come down and is caught and uh, uh, pay that take two hands together and bow to the Samanera side and ask forgiveness. Samanera, please forgive me. It is very big mistake for me. Please forgive. Samanera is still very relaxed, very simple. He says, oh, this is not the teacher's mistake. Teacher not done any, any harmful things. No any intention to do it. It is my karma. So that normally we are going to complain, oh, that the teacher is the one do, teacher is the one harmful my eyes. This kind of complaint. But this summary is not like that. He says, oh, teacher, never have any intention. This is my karma. So that, that's why I got damaged. This way, that uh, try to say the teachers. Teachers, but you still worry. Then go to the Lord Buddha, pay respect and sit one side. Buddha asked some things from the Venerable, how you are. So Venerable answered, we are okay. But Bhante, my disciple, this Samanir, very special one. So that his uh, quality cannot imagine. So peaceful, he never changed his mind for any of the good or bad things. He is all the time is stable, never changed. And also, not only that, that I have done very big mistake for him. Because of me, he got blind one eye. But still, he says, uh, I not done it because of his come it happen. So this kind of thing. So very rare, this kind of disciples. Buddha know he already was at Naraha. Buddha says, that Buddha want to show that someone or the Araha and stability, mental stability is Buddha focus. Buddha preach one Dhamma Pada to preach Dhamma to the Venerable. Santang tasa manang hoti santa vacha chakam macha samadanya vimuttas upasantas tadinoti. Buddha says, mind is peaceful, calm. Body, Action also peaceful, speech also peaceful. Because of the well understand Dhamma and well uprooted all the defilements and stability, mental stability is there. Because of that, so that all the time peacefulness is there. So now you understand peacefulness depends on the understanding of Dhamma. If the Dhamma understanding there, then mentality peaceful and stability there. So it's called Arahang qualities. So Buddha explained the Venerable Attainments. Teacher got an urgency. Many others also got an agencies. So teacher could attain Arahangship. 
other vendable also could attain some path process. So the Dhamma, now you understand, we have to train more and more, mindfulness more and more, concentration more and more, wisdom, then only this peacefulness come. You can see now, beginning of our practice and now is big different. Big beginning, peacefulness lesser. Now when you are practicing, practicing, now more peacefulness there. Bodily and speech and mentality or more peacefulness because this uh, Dhamma developments. So this development you are trained furthermore, then Dhamma is stabilized. Your life is stabilized, never change for any reason. If anyone done the good thing, bad thing all the time, mind is equal, is called Thadi, is stable uh, quality there in the mind. So we also have to train these qualities for our lives. The young Samanera, seven years old, he was very stable. So this is called Arahang quality. That quality is very useful. Earlier, many venerables, they practiced very well. They had this quality. You know, our Aridham Mahathera. He had this quality. Very peaceful. Whatever happened, very peaceful all the time. Mahathera's teacher, now, now in a, the first venerable in this period, the venerable Bodhidakita, also had this quality. We also have seen in our young age, we see never change, all the time equal. All the time peaceful, no much talking, all the time peaceful, valuable, venerable, is called Bodhidakita Mahathira. So one occasion, one of the venerable father, he bring a Varida Mahathira to hear now, you know, to pay rest to the teacher. So that time bring some Atta Parikkara and uh, eight requisites and some other offering item to pay respect. The father thought, oh, when we, this kind of valuable disciple, Arida Mahathira, so valuable one on that period, so such a one, go to the teacher and pay respect, teacher will be more happy. The father had been thinking. So that Mahathira come, teacher also come out and sit, and then says, one day we come to pay respect, one day. When the says on the eye is good, then offer the items to the teacher. After that, teacher also not talking, keep silent. So then uh, understood oh, the teacher so peaceful, not much talking. When the disciple explaining something, only listening. After that, teacher not asking how this thing, how you are living, this, this kind of thing, not asking. General, peaceful. So this called stable mentalities. We have seen this venerable, so valuable qualities venerable had. So we also had to train this kind of qualities. It's in nature for us, a small mistake in our self or external, we worry a lot. It is not suitable. We have to understand it's our karma. We understand that some error. Even one night got blind. Even though not complaining, so that uh, is thinking it is my karma. Like that we have to think all those things, externally, good or bad, all the things happening because of my karma, not other people doing. This kind of focusing we have to maintain. So then our ordination become more and more stable. So until it is stable, we have to train this kind of uh, very special qualities. One question venerable asking sometimes morning is good but later very difficult practice. Again, sometimes a little bit good. Many defilements come. What is the advice venerable can give? So this is nature for all the meditators. Most of the meditators, they are meditating with many difficulties. Most of the meditators, it is common nature for all of us. We are working very hard, but no result, but still worrying, but still practicing, sometimes no confidence, but again practicing. This is the way, until we catch the way, this is the nature. For all of us, it's nature, but we have to train again and again, meditation object, we have to train again and again, then later, 
we can get the way to concentrate after that very easy so normally our mind we like to concentrate for deeply but don't think it actually deep concentration deep brightness deep jhana uh, don't think it present moment present object you maintain it is enough if you can maintain your object for one second it is enough you concentrate one second you focus object one second if one second work then later two second later uh, 10 second 30 second one minute gradually increase it's better if we they think of deep uh, big results we never develop so gradually only second by second we increasing our time one minute two minute five minute then gradually come up you can concentrate for meditate for 10 minutes 20 minutes then concentration nearby if you are thinking jhana it will practicing it will many deployments very difficult so in the practicing time definitely deployment they are it cannot remove it but together with the deployment so we maintain our practice beginning we ignore the deployment later the meditation come to the good level very easily work with the deployments so until the ability come we determine and practice so the few things when people asking one thing is ditti and avijja what is the difference between ditti and avijja the ditti is wrong view wrong view that we we know that uh, we think this person this person is a uh, uh, person view this kind of thing we call uh, ditti but there are some avijja ignorant also there uh, cover the reality is called ignorant our realities for example that you know the horse cannot eat the dry grass but we are the green color glass then give the dry grass horse can eat because horse thinking this is uh, not dry one so horse can eat like that the our ignorant can cover the realities the wrong view is uh, cannot uh, understand realities example we see externally is wrong view but uh, real thing is internally past present future had to focus one person very beautiful we are attractive this person because we are focus on wrong view ditti but this person uh, also not permanent one past didn't have present only future also will die and disappear so this say uh, detail you not understand is called wrong view so this uh, view and uh, ignorant we have to understand this way jahanangas second part asking jahanangas how to focus his body or mind actually all the jahanangas in the mind if uh, uh, happiness also inside the mind we have to understand all mental factors then the third one asking about pasadhi tranquility the how to understand the pasadhi when you are meditating time you feel very difficult sitting very difficult and also hand difficult neck difficult this is called no pasadhi when the pasadhi come pasadhi is tranquility pasadhi come you feel body very easy very comfortable keeping legs very easy body keep very straight and very comfortable head also very easy hand also very easy walking also very comfortable is called pasadhi tranquility so that pasadhi is that no hardness so the meditation program we determine to continue training our continuous practice very important we see many vendors they are mindful that during their sitting time and also getting up and go to dhyana sala and eating time we saw many vendors they are mindful so we had to maintain this mindfulness everywhere especially we are going to dhyana sala and eating time coming back time we have to train so then your ordination life become more beautiful so other work also the sweeping time cleaning time also so gently or you can train with mindfulness good for your mental development all the present moments if you apply mindfulness your mentality calm down very fast so determine to maintain wholesome object continuously then your mindfulness come up 
then if the mindfulness is stable your concentration is stabilized if these two stabilize your wisdom also better if these three better your practice also better then you can attain path progress we wish all of you to train this practice continuously and attain all the path progress and nibbana tirvansa sadhu 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 idango nyate nango to sukita antu nyateyo idango nyate nango to sukita antu nyateyo idango nyate nango to sukita antu nyateyo ethavata jam me sambatam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhuta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe tatha anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya akasa tacha bhumatta deva naga maitika Ponyantam anumaditva chirangrakkantu sambuddha sasanam chirangrakkantu sambuddha desanam chirangrakkantu sambuddha savakam chirangrakkantu mamparante asmin vihare charame adivatta cha devata anumaditva imam ponyam rakkantu jina sasanam sabbe satta cha majjatta ita cha aita cha me anumaditva imam punyam vachantu amatam padam imina punya kammena mame bal samagamo satan samagamo tu yavani ban imina punya kammena mame bal samagamo satan samagamo to yavani bana patya imina punya kammena mame bal samagamo satan samagamo to yavani bana patya imaya dhamma nu dhamma pade patya buddham pojemi imaya dhamma nu dhamma pade patya dhamma pojemi imaya dhamma nu dhamma pade patya sangam pojemi adha imaya pade patya jati jara maranam ma parimunchisami kaye na vacha chitte na pamade na man achayam kamame bante bore panya tatagata kai na vacha chitte na pamade na maya katam achayam kamame dhamma sandhitte ka kalika kai na vacha chitte na pamade na maya katam achayam kamame sanga punya ketta anuttara sadhu sadhu sadhu